see the record. Cool. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the second EduWiki Knowledge Showcase, which is supported by the Wikipedia and Education User Group and the Education Team at the Wikimedia Foundation. And we are excited to have our two amazing speakers today, uh, Galder and Matilde. And we will hear about the amazing work that they are doing with Basque Wikimedia User Group and Wikimedia France. And stay excited. Uh, this, this particular EduWiki Knowledge Showcase is focused on Wikimedia learning and fun. Like it's not just about like the existing, like moving out of the existing classroom structures and seeing like how Wikimedia projects can be used for learning in a, in a more fun way. So we, with that, I will let uh, both Galder and Matilde to have their introduction. Galder will start with your introduction, then we'll pass to Matilde and we'll also start with Galder's session first. But I forgot to introduce myself. Hi, I am Sailesh Patnaik. I am a I'm a senior program officer with the community programs team at the Wikimedia Foundation, and I'm your host for today. This meeting is being recorded and will be available in the YouTube channel of uh, Wikipedia and Education User Group. So stay tuned. Galder. Okay. Hello, I'm Galder Gonzalez. I'm Basque Wikipedia User Group um, Education Officer or Program Manager, or whatever you want to say. Um, today we are going to talk about our project, new project Icus Gela. That's a project uh, based on um, multimedia production, like uh, videos, pedagogy videos for students. Um, this is a project that started uh, nearly three years ago. We started to work on this. But uh, it was last year when when the first videos were done, and now in in this term, we are working on two videos per week. So this is uh, something I want to present. I think I can share my screen. Yes, actually. Okay, so this is the Basque Wikipedia. Um, it's uh, quite different to other Wikipedia's uh, main page. It's quite more visual, but that's not the, the fact here. We have um, here also a uh, current video that we are going to play in, in Icusgela. Um, Icusgela is our, Icusgela is a pun uh, between two words. Uh, Icusgela in Basque means classroom and Icus means to see. So it's a classroom you can see, something like that. And what we are doing there is uh, making some sort when I say short, it's less than 10 minutes videos about uh, different topics in that are related somehow to the education process. So our main product now is the philosophy videos that are videos made about philosophers. You have from Plato and Aristotle to the last one that was launched yesterday this year, that is a Basque thinker. So we are doing two Basque thinkers this year. But we have, you see, like Hannah Arendt or René Descartes, Descartes, or whatever you want. I mean, there are videos about uh, philosophers. These are like seven, eight minute videos that um, I'm going to show you. So if you go to the video about, let's see, uh, Plato, for example, you get to this page, and there you have like, uh, you can see the video. Actually, uh, most of the videos, they have also subtitles. You can see this video is subtitles in Catalan, Russia, Greek, uh, English, Spanish, Basque, Hausa, and uh, Slovenian. So um, you, can, you can subtitle to other videos, and you also can dub these videos. Sir. Some of the videos are also available in dub in Catalan. Uh, then you have who did this video, like who is the, who is the people who has working in the script. And this is very interesting because these are people related to, to the university. These are people, experts in philosophy and experts in Plato in this case. So we have like one, one teacher that has been working in the, in the script and then another one who has been contrasting that script, like, okay, making some improvements or whatever. Then this is we, the coordinators. 
the video is done by Luda Macho, that is our partner in this project, that main project, main partner, they're doing the videos. Uh, and you have the technical script. The technical script is done by one of the workers of uh, Iruda Macho, that is uh, the video producing company. And they do the, like a technical script of this. It's not only to have the script, because if you ask, if you ask university teachers or professors to make something, they will make normally something longer than it must be. It will be like five, six pages. And that's not uh, what we wanted to do. Then it has some editor, and then we have a professional voiceover uh, that is uh, an actress, is Clara Badiola. So you can see here where you can see the video. So you can go to Plato, and you have the video this here. You can, you can go to the allegory of the cave, and you can see here only the section related to that. You see that starts later. Um, this can be done with any video, like you do Hannah Arendt and you see who are the, make the authors of the video, in which articles you can see this video, and then you can see all the materials used. This is all the common files used to do this video. Wait a moment, there is someone knocking the door. Wait a second. <laughs> Sorry, Anne. So this will be one kind of videos that are videos done uh, for philosophy. Then there is this other kind of videos that are videos about economy, daily economy. There are four or five minutes videos. Um, and these are done with, uh, with an actor, an actress in this case. So you can see that this is an actress and these are not subtitles because it's quite different. Um, we have this, but these other videos that are uh, Basque culture, and currently there are literature, but we are going to expand this year to, to more content, more to add more content. So you can you can have here like these kind of videos that are made with animation. Oh, color, we're not able to hear the audio. No, no don't worry about the audio. Okay. It was uh, so in the, the animation. So you you have also here who are the people who has been working here, who, who has made the illustrations, and who, who puts the, the voiceover. And uh, we also have this also, this kind of videos that are shorter, that are some true scientific uh, talking about ecology. It's like always one interview and another one. And um, our main new videos we are launching now this term uh, is are these videos about the uh, digital technology, digital issues. Like for example, here you have um, um, artificial intelligence. So you have a video with this um, this is actually an expert on the topic and was also at. at TV and radio broadcaster. So I'm going to so because and here we are using also images uh, created by a computer, and you can see all the articles that these are done, and th these are uh, related articles with this video. So if you go to here, you can see an article that is actually related to that. And the last thing we are doing are these short videos. These are uh, sold for TikTok. Uh, and these are videos like uh, only one minute, one minute, 20 seconds. There are vertical videos. They are sold for TikTok and YouTube shorts. Um, and the videos, these videos are actually like eight facts in one minute. And um, they are sold for like this idea of fact checking or the idea that um, TikTok TikTok can be reliable and yes, I mean it could be if we have a fact checking if you can uh, search for facts. So you have here the video. Uh, you have here which uh, in this case is uh, eight places in the world, eight extreme places in the world. So you can see here which are the places. You can see 
we sort the images and you can see uh, the script and the references for that script. Uh, we are working more on this and this year we will have another like 20 videos, I think, about uh, this and uh, one minute videos. So you can search for the videos in the YouTube articles. You can check for the videos in in pages that are, these are currently you can see it in which articles do they have an, uh, a video of uh, user team from this project. And you can also search in social media or it's this YouTube channel, or or you can go to Telegram, and I can go now, but uh, you can get uh, updates or Twitter, Mastodon, something in Facebook. And I think there is a there is some interesting Instagram channel. It's quite different, and also PeerTube and and well, and well and where you can know more about the the project. Um, we are doing this with. Uh, with a grant from the past government. Um, and after that, we are also applying to other grants for uh, pedagogical material creation. So um, this is something that is uh, is more difficult because you have to present some projects. So like, for example, this year, philosophy and uh, economy are being done with the grant we have from uh, school material like there are some grants to innovate in school materials and you can apply for that um and we are also having some partners that will make it cheaper like for example these videos about the technology are done with some partners that are working on that so they are uh, they are contributing also to to the cost of these videos um, we had some dubbing done in Catalan, and this was done with a Wikicred uh, grant. But uh, actually, these videos could be subtitled to any language made by volunteers. And it could also be uh, dubbed both by amateurs, by volunteers, or professionally if someone has some money to do it, because doing it professionally is more, is, is more expensive. Uh, all the videos are available in Commons. And um, they can be or subtitles or or pre uploaded with uh, another voice. So this is something we will be very happy if it happens. Uh, and whatever, if someone has any question or any idea on how to do it better, it will be I, I will hear that and it will be welcome. So I think that's my presentation, and I'm going to give uh, voice to Matilde. Thanks. Um, I do have a question. Uh, I think it's a super cool project and uh, the videos really look interesting. Uh, for the matter, I, I like, I'm currently working on the creation of video tutorials to use a Wikidian. So our um, target people uh, are youngsters. And I think it's super great. Like you have really cool uh, material to to show them. Um, so the question is, when did you start like this program? Because now it looks like super organized. You have a website, the channel, the Instagram account, and stuff. And uh, I think it's like a lot. Okay, so the project started actually three three years ago. It's starting the planning, like um, we we. There was a project to do something like this, and we granted uh, with a digital humanities grant we, we were giving. So they made a prototype. With this prototype, we went to different institutions, including the bus government, and we get some funding to do it. So two years ago, we had the idea that this will be funded. So uh, we started working on with one person that will be the project manager. Once we get the fund, they will be working on that. That is under Bolivar, who is not here today. And so two years ago, they started. We started with the project, and last year we started with a scripting. No, it was actually two years ago. We started with a scripting and asking like uh, to some professionals how to work on that. So last year we made the first videos and we uh, published. And 
this year we are with the second term and now it's more organized and more um yes we whenever you have more material it's easier to organize it to show it in mm -hmm. an organized way so the new page the new this new front page was done this week but um instagram and youtube and this has been working for like two years now and whenever we also have a video we send to the people who has participated and all, also some network of teachers so they can use it in their classroom because we know that the students are not going to find it by their way so it's way, way easier to, to do it with uh, teachers and some videos are working i mean some videos have high amount of uh, audience in YouTube. We can know how many people is looking at them at Wikimedia because we don't have a view counter, but uh, we think they are getting some some views because there is some teachers that are say are commenting us that they have seen the videos with the students. So yes. we think that they will be nice. Yes. Okay. That's a problem that I'm also having with uh, with wikis. Uh which I'm going to talk about in a moment, uh, is to know like how many, like since it's like everything is um, in CC, like uh, free to use, like we don't know who, who is currently using it. Uh, Salish, you had a question. Yes, I do have a question, Galder. Um, uh, the first is a request. If you could share the link to uh, the project on the chat, that would be helpful for our participants to like see more about what the project is. And there's another thing that I'm very curious about, like, you know, uh, as you are one of the affiliate uh, in the movement that has a very strong collaboration with the government, um, I am kind of like interested to know, like when you're creating this, uh, these videos, uh, who are the like the primary consumers? Are you creating it for the youth, uh, for the, in in the, in the region or are you also seeing they are participating in the same way and creating like a similar kind of contents on like TikTok or other social media platform? So just curious about that. Yeah, so there are some videos like, for example, the philosophy videos are quite narrow to the people in the last year of high school because they had these topics in their university entry exam. The videos about Basque culture are, the audience is like 15 years old because they have this in the curriculum. The economy videos are more general and the videos about technology are more general. They are not also targeted, targeted to high school students. It's more like general knowledge. And the videos that are made for TikTok are quite thought for um, young audiences like I don't know which audiences, but 14, 16 years old. They are quite basic. There are eight facts in one minute. One minute. They are not uh, oriented to have like a deep understanding of the subject. Um, so this will be like uh, every every series we are creating, uh, and there will be more in the future. Uh, has like one uh, age in mind. And there are, for example, some videos we are working now in universal literature, and they are made with a teach. But the script is made by a teacher who is uh, also a teacher in high school of this topic. So we, we ever we, we always try to find someone who will be a partner, who will be a teacher of that age, who will guide us on what is interesting for them and not. Um, we are also trying to make some videos that could be for general audiences, but this is a general audiences is something that literally doesn't exist. I mean, you 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 can you have to narrow it. Um, as we are working with uh, a grant from the government, um, the grant is done is made uh, for creating general public things, but more narrow in uh, secondary students and young audiences. So we are working more on that. Yeah, I, I, I asked like a half question. My other question, but the other part of the question was, do you want to share like a best practice of like how to work with the, in collaboration with the government? <laughs> That's difficult. Um, in our case, the Basque government has a office for 
um, Basque language projects. So it's easier to apply to that than to education. But for example, some of these videos that we said that we were done by a grant for pedagogical material are done with the education department. Actually, this grant comes from the government also. It's, it's another department and it's based on education. Um, one thing when you are working with a government is to know something very general. I mean, they may not be interested in our Wikimedia nuances of, oh, this strange battle that happened like in the third century now is more do, do general things. Um, one thing that here is difficult is metrics. Uh, governments normally are interested in metrics because they are giving public money and they have to justify why they're in this. So YouTube metrics or TikTok metrics are not the only ones here. And so it's quite difficult to convince them that actually there might be higher than the YouTube uh, number. The YouTube number is not bad, but it is higher than that. Um, and another thing is like hearing to them. I mean, when they are giving the grant, it's like, okay, Okay, and what do you have something that you are seeing that is missing? Is there something that when teachers came to the government says that it would be great if we have materials about this? So, for example, they they told us that uh, there was a lack of materials for um, like when you need um, more classes about maths or physics, like uh, when. You, you need someone explaining formulas or explaining how to do some uh, <laughs> physics stuff. So what we did, I'm going to show it. We partnered with another... We partnered with uh, another uh, uh, institution. I'm going to try to show it. Okay, here will be easier. Uh, so if you go to our this this video, for example, these videos have like this teacher explaining explaining how to do these formulas, whatever they are doing. And this this is another association that is some teachers working on on this topic. So we partnered with them to leave all these videos free and we have uploaded them to Commons. So you have some teachers explaining how to just resolve these formulas. And this is something that was asked for by the government. Like we, it would be great if this exists. And it actually exists. There is another people doing this. Let's talk with them to make it free. And there are like 400 videos, I think. So everything here now is free also. So well, let's <laughs> stop, sir. Yes. So yeah. the main ideas will be be clear on what you are going to do that year. Provide what you promised. I mean, if you say we are going to do twenty videos, you, are, you should do twenty videos actually. And if you make thirty, it will be even better. Uh, don't make forty because they will understand that uh, with the same money, it's possible to make forty, and that's not also the the the, the point. Uh, and try also if, if they have something in mind like it would be great to have something about I don't know history or students are very they can't find uh, good things on I don't know what chemistry try to to figure out how to do that because I mean it's something they are paying for thanks Carla there's a question in the chat if there's like an English version of the project uh not yet. Okay. Uh, no, we don't have English videos. There are some of them are subtitled, but they don't, we don't have them. Um, but no. actually, if you go there, you are you can go and, and see it. The, the videos is quite graphic. Mm -hmm. Great. Thanks. Thanks, Calder. Uh, if we have more questions for Calder with the project Ecoskilla, uh, please share it on the chat and we will take the questions later. Uh, now I'm going to pass the mic to Matilde. Uh, so I want to share like a fun thing. Like I was like a few weeks back, I was just like browsing uh, Facebook 
and I came across a post which where it was like oh this should be commercialized and like sold everywhere and I was like what exactly they're talking about and I saw there was the station from Matilde from Wikimania where everyone was like playing the wiki wikis and they were like oh and I was like oh this is exciting and I missed the chance to actually be a part of the session during the uh, EduWiki conference in Belgrade so I'm more I'm very excited uh, Matilde to learn about the wikis project today so the mic is to you and then I think we have Joao from the user group so after your session we'll just let Joao introduce the user group to the members or to the participants so that's the cue uh on Waka, we will take your question after Matilda's session. Thank you, for Salish, for this uh, this introduction. Uh, now I, I, I'm I'm not gonna be uh, like disappointing everyone if I'm not like getting everyone excited. Uh, I'm just gonna share my screen first. Okay, this is the one. Here you go. Can you all see the, um, the slides? Yep. OK, cool. So I'll talk to you guys about wikis. So it's a pedagogical game that we launched um, here uh, at Wikime like with Wikimedia France. Uh, we first designed it um as a print and play game so it was like so it can be accessible to most of people um the point is to explain the five pillars through a board game uh, i'll explain you how it works a little later um but yeah the the idea like the the all overall program of wikimedia france for uh, for like using Wikipedia or Wikipedia as pedagogical tools is to work about like media and information literacy. And like through the explanation of the five pillars, like you, you actually have some uh, competencies that are super interesting for like information literacy. Uh, for like, for, in, uh, for instance, uh, sourcing information and like placing information with, uh, with the uh, connected source. Uh, you have uh, balancing points of view uh, that are uh, like represented by the eyes. Um, also, like correcting one and all, like each other's uh, mistakes uh, that uh, that can be like fake news or um, mis like misinformation because like all misinformation is like uh, vandalism um, and also like spelling mistakes. And also the, the other idea is to like structure your information. Uh, I don't know if it's like a, a word used in the whole, like the whole movement, but we talk about wikification and this is like portrayed by the structured form. So as I said, uh, from, the, from the beginning, uh, like you, you just talked about like how it should be commercial commercialized um, but actually at first we wanted to have it like as free accessible as possible uh, so we designed it in a print and play version uh, that is as accessible on, on Wikimedia Commons as, as you can see um, and it's like a 30 pages PDF uh, obviously you won't have to um, print out everything and you, you will have to do it uh, rect recto verso, like on on both sides of the of a sheet, and uh, cut it. And uh, you will have like in the document the whole um, uh, manual to help you like understanding how you you should like cut it. Um, a game uh, allows uh, teams from one to six players to play, and it's obviously a collaborative game because we want to show to everyone that Wikipedia is collaborative. Uh, well, I've been ambitious with the number, but uh, a play like a, a round, uh, no, not a round, a game should last for about 15 to 20 minutes. Obviously, the first 
the part in the game will uh, take a little longer because you will have to understand yourself the rules of the game and then explain it to others. But I can tell you it's not that complicated because we wanted it to be accessible from 12 years old and older, of course. So I um, like the game has been launched a year ago um, after a few months of reflection of uh, that we, we got a, a, a call for project and a grant from the Ministry of Culture in France. Um, it was like 10, uh, 10,000 euros, like, so you can have all the information. Um, and like with this grant, we uh, launched a call for grants and um, a company specialized in game design. They answered and like they created the game. And after a few months of um, testing, we launched it like a year ago. Ever since, like since its launching, uh, I've been uh, like conducting many workshops in France. And like um, here, like I, I'm, I'm showing you some pictures of like the different uh, public I, I have shown it. I, I like uh, conducted the workshops. Um, on the corner left, you have like the Wikimedia France team with the uh, Rémi that maybe some of you know, the, the head of, uh, of the association. Um, on the top here is the first time I animated a workshop. It was in Marseille, south of France, a group of teachers, of school librarians, exactly, um, more precisely. On the right like corner, like right top corner, it was in a fair uh, dedicated to video games. So it wasn't really the, the topic, but like uh, wikis has shown to be a really great tool for um, uh, like to sensibilize, like to introduce Wikipedia to people who don't know anything, who aren't even really involved uh, with education. Um, but like people were just coming, seeing all the colors on the table, as you can see, like Wikis is pretty colorful. And like, even if it was a video game fair, people were, were really curious. On the left, this is me like showing the game uh, to a big uh, like federal association in France specialized in uh, popular education. And we have worked on um, a collaboration, a project a, a, like dedicated to uh, kids who are like leaving schools. It was super exciting. Uh, and on the right, it's like, uh, this is a, a group of uh, librarians, not school librarians, but just like people um, learning, like tr uh, like just in public library, um, no, not, not library, yeah, public libraries and like, because it's actually also a tool for like public institutions, not only like really specialized in education. Um, uh, Wikis has started to spread to spread within the movement, as you said, Salosh. Like uh, I had the chance, opportunity, and really luck uh, to to go abroad and to like introduce Wikis to to many many people. Uh, so on the top left, uh, this is me in Singapore. Like with like as you can see, people are really. <laughs> uh like focused in the in the presentation people are having fun also like as you can see on on the right this is like french wikimedians uh like both of them uh on the bottom right is it's in belgrade uh and on bottom left it was in abidjan for the like uh, wiki wiki convention francophone and uh, a colleague of mine like had the, the chance to go there and like spread it. And the spreading of wikis is um, enabled by uh, Wikimedians uh, that had 
that has been involved in the translation. And I want to, like I, 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 most of the people who got involved in this process aren't here, but I would like to thank them if they see the video later. And uh, so here is the meta page. For you guys, if you're interested, like to just get involved and get on board in this um, in this uh, sort of journey, like translating journey. As you can see now, there is almost nine versions. Uh, I've been contact contacted this week by Agnes, uh, who is working on a Hungarian version. And she's telling me that she's looking for proofreaders. Uh, so if you guys are like speak uh, speak Hungarian pretty well, like you can contact her and, and her, help her out. And um, and also like yeah, just if you want to get involved, so I'll I'll send my uh, my contact uh, my info if you if you want. Um, and the game also was launched online uh, pretty recently, and uh, it exists in uh, two versions. The first one is Tabletopia. It's a um, platform uh, really designed for like to uh, digitalize um, uh, board games, like just like uh, we did with wikis. Uh, for that, you will only have to like create yourself an account and click on play. Like I, I played solo, but you can actually play online with people who are like in, on another computer. Well, it's loading and taking maybe too long and maybe too much of my connection. Okay, but you get the idea. I think the the funny part is on this slide too. Uh, we managed to have a, an online version, um, which is on like it's digitalized, but it's not it's not really online because you will not be able to like to play it uh, like on different monitors and uh, like it's more designed for like for our website. So people can actually train. Let's play, okay. Metzild and Salesh. Sorry if I misspelled your name. And here you go. This way you will, it's, it's a nice way for you guys to like practice. And you understand how it actually works. Well, I am starting pretty badly, but you get the idea. So this is uh, enabling me here to show you how it works. The game uh, is like designed like really like um, a puzzle game. You just place cards. And the idea here is to uh, build like uh, write the best possible article. And as I said, for that, you will just have to balance points of view that are portrayed by uh, the colored eyes. Um, so here we have like four orange points of view and two on like only one violet, a purple. So I'm gonna like add on another purple. And as you can see, I am also like correcting an error. So this is helping me like to build a better article. So as you can see, um, there is a point that has raised, like I'm marking a point because I am balancing points of view, but I'm also raising the edition gauge because I have corrected an error. Well, um, this is a lot of information, and I like. Uh, I want to be pretty quick and short, so we can have some time uh, for question and answers. Uh, but basically, it's been quite an, an interesting year, challenging as well, uh, because 
for instance, the project um, I was telling you about with uh, kids that are like leaving school, um, I got the answer like this no, last week that it was not going to happen anymore because we didn't get the grant. Uh, but Wikis has shown to be a really great tool for uh, like public introduction to Wikipedia. It's also a great tool for um, like to bring your community like around uh, a nice uh, a nice project. Um, like it's it's it has enabled me to contact people from Colombia, Albania, um, Switzerland, like for the translation, and also um, that's what I wanted to talk to you about is the publishing of wikis for the moment um i have the information like concerning the price like to, to to publish it but i don't have the money yet uh, like wikimedia france has not the money yet for like for us to publish the game and distribute it in france or abroad uh, but we're discussing about it trying to find the best way like for us to like cleverly spread it uh, like as you can see with the box that that i'm showing you on the slide um, so for the moment uh, as we like as i uh, mentioned to to Geldar, uh, we are still trying to understand like uh, its use within the within the french scholar system like how many people uh, downloaded the, um, the print and play version like who's using it extra before like we just like try to sell the whole thing to to the to the world but um we're trying to understand also like uh the wikimedian like movement involvement in the game and how interested people are uh for this so we create like I'm gonna send it the um, send you guys the the slides that ha that has whole of the um, of the links, uh, but like I ended like uh, creating a pretty clean and new meta page for wikis, and you will find like all of the informations, and especially <clears throat> concerning publishing. Well this like you will have to look <laughs> for it um, because it's pretty hidden but if you won't get if you guys want to like to tell me that you're interested into getting or buying or like working on the publishing of boxes of wikis just place your like put your name and I don't know you can also contact me I'll send my email address but like these are um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to stop right there, but I wanted to explain you like how the game was created, like how, like what we did in a year, and what's ahead of us, and like what's going to be following. So I can actually. So this game is no longer just a Wiki, Wikimedia France project, but an overall like Wikimedia project. And uh, this is going to be my conclusion, actually. And how do I... Okay, arrêtez le partage. Thanks, Mathilde. Um, so just give me a second to mute uh, people. This is exciting. Uh, as you can see on the chat, there are like, a lot of appreciation, especially from people who have like attended your sessions at Wikimania. Now I have the... FOMO moment, uh, but we do have like questions. But before that, I there was a question for Galder. Uh, must the material come from Wiki Commons? And Galder has already answered it on the chat. Uh, but I will get back to Matilda now. There is a the first question comes from Joao, um, and it is I have been wondering about uh, outreach. Do you connect uh, with school directors or directly with teachers to have the game played with students? Was there any involvement with the Students' Parents Association that is so strong in France? Well, for the moment, I 
I didn't even have to directly contact uh, schools extra because I've been contacted by them. Like uh, I introduced the game into like uh, an education fair um, that like attracted many people. And from that, people really like uh, contacted me a lot, pretty naturally. So it was super easy for me to, to just like, uh, it was um, a yes to everything year and it was really tiring for me to move like, uh, I didn't really go to school directly, but I was, um, this year was more about like um, teaching teachers and teaching professionals that would like actually like um, uh, spread to to young people rather than me just moving to schools and stuff. So now um, I, I, I've seen that uh, the the excitement over like around wikis in France has um, decreased a little, but it's actually normal after a year, I guess. And now I'm going I'm going to have to work around like how I can. Um, contact uh, because in France it's pretty nationalized and you will have like a, a national organization working like on the spreading the sharing of, of resources pedagogical resources so that every school like in in all the country is uh, um, has the resource so I'm gonna try to contact them to have partner uh, partnership partenariat a convention like so that wikis can be distrib distrib distributed and the goal overall would be like to like to be like to have the the publishing funded by such an organization so every school can have their box but this is pretty tough a tough one i think Thanks. Thanks for the question, by the way. Yeah. Um. Uh, maybe I'll just have like a follow up question on that, Matilda. Like right now, what, what has been your strategy to like reach out to the audience? Like, how are you doing it? Is it just being, you know, by mutual contact or just like you're approaching them or they're approaching you? So how how is it getting spread across the teachers or students? As I said, for the moment. Yeah, that's pretty complicated. Like, um, uh, it's it naturally spread because people contacted me, like to invite me in uh, workshops for school librarians, for librarians, for teachers, also in other like um, popular education associations. Um, so that was my like last year. And as I, as I said, now the challenge is going to be for me to contact people from the French Ministry of Education or like really to think of the best way and uh, to have it spread nationally without like trying to like waste energy on uh, trying to, to contact like all of the school possible in France. Uh, because I'm like I'm the only project manager in us in Wikimedia France, and uh, we we really don't have like that that time to spend on trying to outreach like everyone. Yeah. So Thank we're you. like one step at a time. Thanks for the response. Uh, there's a question from Galder. Galder, do you want me to read it, or do you want to ask it on your own? But I can ask. I mean, it's. Um, I, I think I asked this, but um, the the translation is complex because it's in a PDF. Is it possible to have in another way, or or have you improved that? Or I I mean, I I want to translate it, but uh, it will be difficult to translate from the PDF directly. So, um, for instance, Viola, who is from the Albanian language user group, she like she translated the PDF on Adobe, Adobe. and uh, there's also Agnes from um, from Hungary. I don't know. I think she's she's 
um, she works at the foundation. She told me she, she managed to do the translation through Canva. So I, uh, my uh, next challenge will also be to like buy the, um, the source uh, file, the Adobe source file from the company who worked on the game design. Um, so that we can actually change the document from the Adobe project uh, and like to spread it around uh, the whole movement. And like, because when we, um, when the game designer like did the whole uh, project, he designed to release the, um, he signed to release the, the PDF in a CC by SA version, but we didn't mention anything about the, the Adobe project like source file. So now like this is this is quite a problem, but it's not like undoable. It's it's yeah, it's another matter of money as usual. But we're working we're working on that. Thanks. Thanks again. Um, there's a question from Nikos. Uh, Nikos, do you, wanna, do you want me to read it for you? Uh, thank you. Uh, it is uh, Nikos, uh, to be uh, precise. Uh, I would like to ask uh, Mathilde about, uh, about the game. Uh, how children have reacted uh, to the game of the criminal of uh, introducing the five pillars in schools. Uh, do they like it? Do they seem interested to uh, do they seem interested here to uh, with this? Uh, also, do you are planning uh, to expand it uh, in other countries uh, apart from France, maybe for example, Belgium or uh, Switzerland, where uh, there are many French speaking communities that can uh, work with it as well? Yeah. Thanks for your question. Um, on the one hand, uh, kids' reaction depends on the kids, uh, depends on the age range as well. For instance, the unschooled kids, uh, they are pretty reluc reluctant to play at first because it's like, oh, it's related to school and they were really not willing to play. And uh, so, like some of them were actually like, getting interested by the, the collaboration part and like how to earn points and then maybe like the the, uh, the idea like the five pillars that didn't really get it but they had a, a cool time playing the game and they had a few words in the in in their mouth like sourcing information like balancing points of view and it's like uh it's a start. And then I've seen um, like more, not privileged, but uh, kids who were more like into school and uh, they had fun, especially because in, like in France, we have classes from like with uh, like 30 to 35 kids in classes. And since um, uh, wikis can be played by one to six, seven people max by team, um, like you can actually uh, divide the whole class into different teams. And even if it's a collaborative game, like the different teams will like try to to have, to earn more more points. And the competition is another like motivation. So that's for the kids part. So I think it's like from from what I've seen, it's pretty it's pretty nice. Like I wouldn't say it's miraculous for kids who aren't not who are not. The other Others are uh, looking more interested. Others want uh, want more persuasion. Yes, there are the dates is uh, very different, but uh, the similarities are many. That's good to know, Nikos. Uh, cool. 
Oh, good to know that, Ingrid. Uh, and happy to see you after a long time. Uh, I miss the open office hour stage. <laughs> um, great, everyone. Thanks for joining, Calder. Thank you very much for the Ecoscala presentation. Uh, this is exciting. This is like a new way of like learning through the fun that is happening in the new world of social media. And I look forward to like more expansion to this project and see like how other affiliates and user groups could, uh, you know, like replicate such a thing. And I know like we have lost Matilde, but uh, want to sh like show a lot of like appreciation for the work that uh, she's doing uh, with Wikimedia France on Wikis. Uh, this is exciting. Uh, Nikos, to answer your question, maybe, uh, I don't know uh, how is it, how they plan to like expand beyond France to the French speaking countries, but I'm sure that it has been like translated into like other languages. One of the languages that I know of is Albanian and uh, the colleague who works with the uh, Wikimedians of Albanian Languages user group, uh, uh, Violda, she uses it in her trainings and workshops. Um, so yeah, maybe it's a, there's a huge chance to like, you know, expand this project and, you know, localize it in your own context. Um, great. Thanks everyone for joining the EduWiki Knowledge Showcase. Uh, to give you an update this is a monthly knowledge showcase and you'll probably see another one in december we are switching between the regions so we started with cee uh with the famous wiki camp activities in the region then we have moved to north southern and western europe uh with calder and matilde today and next uh, region we are going to focus on is the north americas uh so expect to learn more about the high high higher education uh uh, part of our movement so if you're interested and if you want to like highlight your affiliates or your work in the eduki knowledge showcase i've shared the link on the uh, meta page of the meta page so uh, look forward to see your interest and we can group it group you all together when we move to your region so excited and thanks again for joining us today have a good day thanks thanks because bye thanks everyone Bye.